Hey everyone, Joe here. In this lighting tutorial, I want to demonstrate a really nice way to create really soft light using side lighting with your soft boxes. Now, a lot of times when people go to take a photo of somebody using a soft box, they position the model in the center of the soft box, even when the soft box is to the side of the model. But this is really a complete waste of real estate for the soft box. Because, let's face it, you can only take a photo of one side of the person at a time. So there's really no sense of lighting the back side of them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you in this tutorial how we can position the softbox in the center and how it looks, but then I'm gonna have it moved up to where the edge of the softbox is just right past the shoulders. And that helps create a much softer light to wrap around the face. And I think you're really gonna like this. So let's hop in here in this tutorial and I'll show you how it's done. Okay everyone, before we get started, let's first start talking about the gear that we'll be using today. For the key light, I will be using a DB800 a Studio Strobe on a 60 inch Photo Deox Octagon softbox. Now I do not have a grid on this softbox because I want to have the light to flow around as much as possible. Now for the hair light, I will be using a DB800 also from Policy Buff. Now on that softbox, I have a 12 by 52 inch strip softbox from Photo Deox and it also has a grid on it to keep really control of that light. That way I get directional light, but extremely soft light. Now the camera I will be using is the Canon 80D. Now for the lens on that Canon 80D, I will be using the 18 to 135 millimeter Nano USM. I think this is a really nice lens. I really wanted to test it out in this tutorial. Now, like I mentioned, I had the key light metered in at f7.1. So the camera aperture will be set at f7.1. I am using the ISO 100 and a shutter speed of 1 200th of a second. Now the hair light I have metered in at f5.6, which is about two thirds stop lower than the key light. That way I get a nice balance of light on both sides of the model that really helps separate her from the background. In this first example, we have the soft box to the side and our model in the center of the soft box. As we can see, even though the light is quite nice, there's still very dark shadows on the side of her face. Now in this example, I've took the softbox and pulled it forward. That way she is on the edge of the softbox and not in the center. Now as you can see, the light wraps around the model's face much nicer and creates a nice transition. Now I have added the hair light in the background to create nice separation lighting. As you can see using this large strip soft box, it creates nice lighting and also lights up the side of the model to separate her from the background. Finally, it's time to bring in our fill light. For this, we're using a simple white reflector. Using a large white reflector is a great way to add fill light without adding any spectral highlights.
Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you found it helpful. Now, if you're looking for any of the gear, the gear will be listed down in the description below. And if you like this video, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up is always highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel yet, you know, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribing is free, it's for you, and lets you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.